Hi, welcome to Gateways to Glendale College. I'm your host, Andra Verstraight, reminding you to tune in every Saturday and Sunday at noon and Thursday evenings at 7 p.m. I'm most honored today because we have with us Dr. Peter Green, who is the music department chair here at Glendale College. Peter, I know you've been on the show before, but it's so good to have you here again. Thank you, Andra. It's nice to be here. Yeah. I can't remember. I know you've been at GCC for a while. How long have you been <laughs> Seems here? Seems like forever, for 11 years. <laughs> wow, yeah. okay. It's gone fast, actually. Really? I'm really enjoying my time. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, so About you must have started years. in 1999-ish? 1999, okay. I did. Wow, mm -hmm. see, I've been here since Yeah, I was 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you believe that. Uh, so, um, the concert singers yes. were recently featured on Gateways. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that they had a performance doing a piece, a very famous piece of Mozart. Yes, it so was the Mozart Requiem um, with orchestra. It was, it was an awesome concert. We had a lot of fun. It was my first time actually conducting that piece. Um, the Mozart Requiem was written um, as Mozart was dying, actually, and he actually didn't complete the whole thing. He just, he wrote, completely wrote a few movements for choir and orchestra, and some of the other ones he just wrote the choral parts or just wrote some of the harmony harmonic structure underneath it, and other composers finished the work for him. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's interesting. And how, um, how uh, obviously we're going to see the performance right. today, but just in terms of uh, conducting it and how it all, was it difficult to do? It was, was difficult, it... but it, it, it's an awesome piece. It's just, it's so moving and uplifting. It's all in Latin. Oh, wow. Yeah. But okay. it, it's such a, mo a moving piece. And I'm sure that when you hear it, you'll recognize some of the oh, parts of it. Because it's pretty popular. Oh, good. Yeah. So, and the um, choir loved it. Did they? You know, when I announced so, last year that it, we were going to do the Mozart Requiem, people came out of the woodwork to, to sing. They say, oh, I want to come sing the Mozart Requiem as well. So the oh, choir was great. large. Was it yeah. a hard choir to audition for then? I yeah, because it's a difficult piece to sing. Right, So right. the auditions were pretty stringent. Oh, yeah. wow. So I'm sure some people, unfortunately, had to get turned away. Right, right. That's acting and singing for <laughs> That's you. That's right. That's Hollywood for you, right? Um, what will they be performing this fall? And how do people get tickets if they want to get tickets? To get tickets, you just show up at the door. It's going to be at First Lutheran Church on Colorado Boulevard. Um, you can always check it out on the website, glendale.edu slash music. Um, this semester we're going to do a few things, a couple of pieces by Eric Whitaker. He's a um, young Los Angeles-based composer. Amazing pieces, amazing. It's all a cappella things. Oh, and wow. And then something by a composer from Norway. His name is Caverno. So it's in Latin, actually, that piece. And then from Georgia, not the state Georgia, but the country Georgia, we have a Georgian composer. Um, we're going to be singing a drum dance. So, oh it wow, be fun. it sounds very and fun. And then also in our choir, uh, David Lane, he's our, our composer in residence. We're lucky enough to have a singer in the choir who went to USC and did composition. So, he actually every semester he writes a piece for us. So, oh, it's incredible. really exciting to have to have that. That sounds really incredible. Yeah. Um, so in addition to the concert singers, there's lots of other musical events going on as well. There are. Um, so will you, do you mind telling us a little bit about those performances? Absolutely, and absolutely. Every semester we try to do, we try to set a faculty recital where some of our faculty get to perform for the students and for the community. So I performed with uh, flautist Beth Pfluger. She's on faculty. So Grammy award Grammy winning. Grammy award winning, that's right, that's yeah. Right. <laughs> so I was piano, she was flute, and then Theo Primes, Theodora Primes, uh, we did a two piano piece called Carnival of the Animals, which oh, was wow. really cool. We had a lot of fun Neat. and the place was packed, so that was fun. Uh, November 20th now coming up mm -hmm. is our Saturday jazz band. We've, we've now grown the, gra the jazz program so much that we had to start another jazz band. So it's the wow. Saturday Jazz Band and also a vocal jazz ensemble. So if you like the vocal jazz end of things, this is a concert to go to. Um, it's in the main auditorium on November 20th at 7.30 p.m. Uh, the next night, or I'm sorry, the next afternoon, November 21st at 4 o'clock is our main jazz band. That's the advanced jazz band. And if you've never okay. seen them, Amazing. Phenomenal. Yes, top, top notch. Wow. Top notch. Yeah. Great. December 3rd is the Applied Music Recital. It's at 7.30 in the main auditorium. So um, our students that take private lessons to get ready to transfer to four-year university, they um, perform for everyone. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's also our, you know, it's our best students. Okay, great. Uh, December 4th is the choral concert. So that's our opera excerpts. It's the chamber, the newly started chamber choir and the um, the Day College Choir, that's 7.30 on December 4th. December 5th is our orchestra concert at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 
Uh, December 7th is our piano recital. It's at 7.30 in the evening. That's in auditorium room 211. Now, th those are all my piano students oh, that feel like okay. they're ready to play in a recital. So it's all the way from level 2 all the way to advanced. So if you, some of my students that have only been taking piano for, this is their second semester, they get to perform. So wow, it's a big deal for them. It's a big deal. So, they, so then people who want to see that would come to the, I think I interviewed you once in the piano room. So they would yes. actually come to the piano yes. room. So they're kind of like amongst the students yes. and sitting with them. Wow, yeah, okay. No, it's a lot of fun. Oh, that's it's great. And it's a, a huge variety of levels. Like I said, p level two all the way through students that have been playing their whole lives. Okay, wow. Um, and then we have a couple more December 7th as well in the afternoon, chamber music recital. So that's small groups like a violin and a flute and a piano or two pianos or... Uh, you know, a saxophone and a flute, and it's just small groups. Okay. So that's a fun. lot of fun. That's Auditorium Room 211. And then also, then the Concert Singers concert that we just spoke about. It's December 12th. It's at First Lutheran Church, which is 1300 East Colorado Street. Okay. So two things I have to ask you. Yes. All of this will be posted on your website. Yes. So that I know it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff to remember from a <laughs> yes. TV show. Okay, great. And that website is? is www.glendale.edu slash music. And just click on upcoming performances. Okay, great. Yeah. And are some of the performances free? Yes. Okay. Yes, it also says how much the, each of them are okay. on the website. Great. Wow. Yeah. Sounds like you've been a busy division chair. Yes, yes. <laughs> I should also um, tell you, too, while I remember it, next semester, I know I'm ahead of myself right now, but right. next semester in Concert Singers, uh, we're going to do something special. It's Carmina Burana. I don't know if you've ever heard Carmina Burana before, but the O Fortuna at the very beginning, you hear it in movies all the time. So this is the first time since I've been here that um, Concert Singers and our college orchestra are going to perform together. So the whole oh, semester, exciting. both groups are going to practice this work. Okay. And then at the end of the semester, I'm going to conduct one performance, and Beth Pfluger is going to conduct the other performance. Oh, how We're going to do two performances. So I can't great. wait for that. It's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of yeah. fun. That sounds exciting. It's a cool piece. So if students or people, I guess not even just students, right, how can somebody get involved if they want to join one of these groups? Do you have to be a student here? No, no. Okay. I mean, you have to register for the class, but right. a lot of, of community members come in and, and they want to, you know, hone up their skills in piano or they want to join a choir to sing along. That happens all the time. So okay. all they need to do is come talk to me or, or just register for the class. Okay, so yeah. they can just register for the class, mm -hmm. and, and, all right, or come talk to you. Yes. And then anybody registered is allowed to audition, or how does that work yes. in terms of... If there's an audition, you know, for the concert singers, for instance, or jazz band, there is an audition. So, you know, the first night or before classes start, we would set a time to do an audition. Okay. Now, a lot of the groups or piano classes, there aren't auditions. Okay. So they can just register. Great. So to be involved in music, I think you just sort of answer that question, but does so, is, is there anything behind the scenes or does everyone have to perform? No, 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 okay. no. So many people don't want to perform and that's fine. There's a lot of other things they can do. They can study music history. A lot of our students okay. go on and graduate and go to UCLA or UC, USC and study and become musicologists. And so, you know, to study music history or music theory they can take. Okay. There are, there's, there's classes in um, surveys of, of rock uh, there's a jazz history class that they could take. You know, you don't always have to perform okay, if you great. take a piano class or a guitar class or a voice class. Some students want to do that, and that's fine, but other students don't have to. Okay. Yeah. Wow, sounds really great. Um, and then the performances obviously are on a website. Yes. Right? Yes. And can, can people somehow, um, not just the listing of the performances, but can they... Can you go back and look at old performances? Or um, is that there stuff are, not there really. Or? There are some um, some that we've linked up there. Some you know the audio, but I'm working with our cameraman actually. Right <laughs> now. We're setting up some YouTube pages, and uh, the okay. music department is in the process of setting up a Facebook page where oh, we can great. put those links. Okay. So because a lot of students always come back and say, I'd love to see the Mozart Requiem or something like that. You know, if you go to our music lab, we have all the CDs and DVDs there. Oh, okay. But a lot, of, a lot of people aren't on campus and would like to see it. So okay. eventually, check, the fa check your Facebook page. Oh, and that's another <laughs> question. So do you, do you make DVDs and sell them? Or can, if, if somebody really likes the performance, is there a way to get a copy of that? Not or really because of that? copyright issues. Oh. Probably the best way is to watch the Gateway Show because we're on here quite often. Oh, yes, concert okay, singers great. right now and orchestra as well. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Yes. So. I, I forgot our technology program. We have just hired three years ago Byron Delto, and that program is uh, growing by leaps and bounds. Oh, So, good. you know, they work on Sibelius to, to notate music on the computer, um, Logic Pro, different 
programs that you record with. So we have a huge technology program. Oh, wow. So yeah. more for those students that want to go into the recording industry? Right. Those, right. Uh, Sound recording or right. recording industry, yeah. Okay. And I have one more question that I just have to ask you. Uh -huh. uh, I've been dying to ask you this. Uh -oh. I understand that in addition to your musical life, which obviously keeps you quite busy, yes, yes. Um, you have, you're a dual sport motorcycle enthusiast. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I know we have a video clip of you. Oh, we do? <laughs> yes. But can you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Sure. I mean, most of my students, when they find out about that, you know, through Facebook or if I come in with my helmet on or something, they're really surprised because, you know, music professor and motorcycle rider don't always add up. Right. When I was younger, growing up in Newfoundland, Canada, um, we had a cabin and I had a little dirt bike. So I grew up with dirt bikes and then got down here. I have a cabin up in Lake Arrowhead. So I have one up there and, you know, I go on the trails. It's just kind of gets me out into nature and gets me away from everything and just... It's nice and relaxing. Plus, I don't know if you know, but our uh, cameraman, Scott Solnicker, he also ah, rides dual purpose. So okay. we go riding together a lot. Sounds like fun. Doesn't yeah, sound very fun. relaxing to me, <laughs> but um, it sounds definitely like fun if you enjoy that kind of thing. <laughs> well, Scott just bought a new uh, camera that goes on top of his helmet. So oh, I'm sure he's going to show a clip from his new camera. OK, fun. <laughs> and you know, I'm sure you remember Dr. Davitt when yes. you started here. And the thing that shocked me about our past president is that he also was a motorcycle and That shocked me as well because yeah. he came in one time with the big black boots on right. and everything. Yeah. And I know he rode Harleys. Right. So, uh, <laughs> right. Right. Anyway, you just never know who's a motorcycle That's enthusiast true. around That's here, true. right? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like You great just fun. have to be careful. Yeah. yeah. Wear your helmet and yes. your protective pads and yeah. all that stuff. Okay, lights out. We'll be back in two minutes. And I have a feeling it's going to be a scary two minutes. <laughs> I'll take you out for a ride sometime, Andrew. I don't know about that. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> okay. I don't know about that. I'll watch you from afar. <laughs> okay. I'll be in the lodge <laughs> sipping hot chocolate. <laughs> How's that? Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll have you back on the show, I'm sure, in another six months or a year. Great. You become a regular now. <laughs> anyway, for Gateways to Glendale College, I'm Andrew Verstrait, reminding you to tune in every Thursday evening at 7, Saturdays at noon, and Sundays at noon. I know that we showed on a previous show Mozart's Requiem, but please sit back and relax because we have the rest of that beautiful concert for you right now. Stay tuned. <laughs>